Okay, okay. We are back with someone new. Matt Champion Fang's um, project called Harley, produced by Joba, Albert Gordon, not Gordon Ramsay, Romil Hamani. It's about the relationship between a champ. Oh, I, his name's Champion, right? Champion and a woman. In the song, he's detailing how his relationship with her has evolved from close friends into a real relationship. Is it going to be like you got your fangs in me or something like that? Probably. I feel like I know where this is gonna go. She rolled up in the beam, I couldn't look cleaner, skin like coffee. Okay, I did not expect him to have a deep voice. Oh shit. She rolled up in the beam, I couldn't look cleaner. The baseline. Like coffee, color with the cream, my sense. I've been thinking all of these thoughts in my head. She probably shoot me dead. God damn, she got the hoops on her run up in two just like a numb chuck. What I give a fuck? I need to mature myself up, but I fell in love right when she said I wanna count the freckles on your face. Rearrange and put them in the same place. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. Pause, pause. Okay, dude, this guy, I like his voice, man. And plus that bass line, that shit's fucking groovy. I, I would say that's like Thundercat on the bass line, man. Um, she got the hoops on. I mean, he's not delivering like any crazy bars, you know what I mean? You could say skin like coffee with a little creamer. Like, there's nothing like crazy, but the vibes are there. The vibes are there. And I like this. Uh, but I've never heard like a woman say that to a guy. Like, I like your freckles. I've never ever seen that anywhere online or in person, but it's always guys that like girls' freckles, and I like freckles. Freckles are great; they're so cute. Let's keep going. Enough simping over nobody. I'm in the same place. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. The cut. Is this him singing as well? I didn't even realize the music's so fucking loud, dude. This video is gonna get blocked. <laughs> That's fine. I do not like that part. I do not like that part. I did like his singing in the pre-chorus. I'm assuming it's the same person. But this falsetto ain't it, dude. Not only that, but there's too many high frequency sounds and they're clashing. Like that guitar with the the reverb plus his vocal. And I think there's another thing with the high frequencies. I don't know. It's, it's just a lot in the high end. I don't even know what he's saying. If I didn't have the lyrics up, I'd have no idea what he's saying. And it's not like the mumble rap, it's just... I, that, I don't like that falsetto. Give me some more bars. The verses are way too short. Good beat cuts. Good timing on the beat cuts. This kind of reminds me of Joji here. I also, in terms of production, I get some like Mac Miller like swimming circles vibes like his later work. 
Um, it just definitely feels like that, really trippy and uh, modernized. I really don't like the chorus. I, not even a little bit. That bass, though, dude. <laughs> Familiar? <laughs> okay, that's funny. That's I think that I don't mind that. That's funny. He's just having fun there. Um Yeah, man. That's not bad at all. That's actually really good. It's just disappointing that the chorus is like it just hurts my ears, bro. Like the high frequencies are just too much and I don't even know what he's saying. You know what I mean? Like you have to have the lyrics to know what he's saying and it's unfortunate because the chorus is the part that always comes back. That's the part that comes back. You know what I mean? And you want a good chorus. You need a good chorus. Obviously, this is just my opinion. Other people like the chorus i'm sure it's a very popular song right um but everything else i really enjoyed it's just the chorus i i couldn't i just it just it ruins it for me um but like everything else is on point his he didn't even like really bring any crazy bars either but he brought the vibes with his bars he didn't he didn't do any like crazy wordplay or lyricism but he brought some good um uh, some good bars in there uh his voice i like his voice other than that falsetto and the honesty thing, yeah, dude, I'm not going to pretend I like something when I don't like it. Like, I always, that, it might cause problems with some people, but I don't give a fuck. This is my channel. I speak how I feel. Um, throughout the song, there's no need, there's the need for him to not only be close to this woman, but to also be with her in a sexual sense. So, wow. Is wanting to be in a relationship with her. Okay, I think we get it. There's no need to, uh, there's, we don't need a summary. What's people saying? The outro reminds me of Frank Ocean's Ivy. I'm not very familiar with Frank Ocean. Late night playlist. Fuck, I want him bad. Oh. His producer listening like, I want some of that. The producer is freaking great. I gotta say, that's fucking vibey as hell, dude. Super groovy. He's my favorite song of all time. Interesting. Okay. I like it, man. I like it. Like I said, it's kind of disappointing that the chorus is the part that's, like, not good to me. I kind of wish the second verse was a little bit longer because it was pretty short in comparison to the first verse. Like, is this 16 bars? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's not even a 16 bar verse. I, I just wish he did a little bit more of the rapping stuff. I think uh, his rap voice is really good. Hey, it's a shark. Did you guys see that in the album cover? It's a shark with the teeth. Oh, that's fucking cool. But wait, why are there little teeth? Okay, never mind. Uh, <laughs> anyways, man, keep it really, I'll keep this one. Like I said, I like it. It's just, there's the chorus that I don't. So what will I rate this? Um, like I said, again, with the verse, like he has a good voice and he has a good vibes with his bars, but he doesn't do anything lyrical. He doesn't do anything cool lyrically in terms of rap. You know what I mean? Um, I'll give it like an eight. F I'll give it like an eight, four. I'm feeling an 8-4. Cool song, man. Cool song.